All right, so I want to begin by talking about working with frame sizes. You know, the first thing you have to do is make sure that your frame sizes are correct so that the file you're working on in Photoshop is going to work in your video project. And so to begin with, let's talk about creating a new document. So in Photoshop, just create a brand new document. You get this window that gives you a set of presets. And these are preset file sizes that you can use. And in fact, in Photoshop CS5 and in the past few versions, there's been this option for film and video presets. This is so great because this gives you a list of all of the common video file sizes, all the way up to 4K film size, all the different HD flavors, as well as uh, SD flavors like NTSC. CTV. And note that in addition to getting the proper height and width here, you also get the proper pixel aspect ratio. And this is the non-square pixels. This is the way that the video files are stored so that your still image is going to integrate perfectly with that video image. So you could choose a regular DV or DV widescreen. You see that's a different pixel aspect ratio. So the file size is exactly the same because DV is always 720 by 480 in the NTSC version. Uh, except that you can change the, that pixel aspect ratio to incorporate. Alternatively, you can use uh, what's called a square pixel version. And this square pixel version, you see this is basically giving you a version that's going to look proper in Photoshop, but when you bring it into your video editor, it's going to look stretched because it's going to have the, this extra uh, height. It's going to need to be squeezed down a little bit to fit that 720 by 480. It's a little bit tricky when you're working with a square pixel because if you want something that's going to look like a circle in video, you're going to have to create something that looks like an oval in Photoshop. Uh, and, and so that when it gets squeezed to fit the 720 by 480 in this case, or in some of the other examples, it'll be different exact sizes. But when you squeeze it to make it in the video, it's going to distort the shape. So I recommend not really using these square pixel versions. Modern video software, if you're using a current version of your video editor, it's going to be able to work with these uh, non-square pixel versions. And obviously, you're using a current version of Photoshop, which provides these non-square pixel versions. This is going to be far superior. It's going to give you exactly what you want when you create the file in Photoshop. And then you're going to see exactly what you get when you incorporate it into your video. And so if let's just go ahead and pick one of these uh, NTSC DV widescreen. When I say OK, I get a warning. Photoshop says, hey, you know what, though? This pixel aspect ratio thing you're doing is going to look funny in Photoshop. Um, and it's saying, turn it off for maximum image quality. If you were making a still image that was supposed to be displayed on a computer screen, this is true. You don't really want to be looking at it with this distorted pixel aspect ratio. But because we know we're making our images specifically to go to video, this is exactly what you want. You can ignore this warning, say OK, and then the document you get, you see, is going to be in the proper widescreen format, even though it's actually 720 by 480. If I temporarily turn off that pixel aspect ratio, you see there it is down in its native size. So you can turn that temporarily on or off to see that distortion if you want to see what it's going to look like in your video editor. 